How's it going, Bremerton? Josh Farley from the Kitsap Sun here out at the corner at 6th and Veneta where the Olympic College mural art class is beautifying this wall in West Bremerton. And as usual, I've got five stories that you just gotta know about happening in Bremerton this week. Welcome back to this edition of the Bremerton Bee Blast, sponsored by the Admiral Theatre. Story number one today is this beautiful mural right here behind me. For the second year in a row, an art class from Olympic College has created a beautiful mural somewhere in West Bremerton. Last year, the wall near Toro Lounge on Pacific Avenue was painted. This summer, the choice was 6th and Veneta, right near the Juice and Java drive through stand. I asked the students why this spot was prime for a new mural in Bremerton. We're trying to just promote kind of the beautify Bremerton movement, just everybody chipping in to make their little area nicer and hoping that spreads. Union Hill neighborhood is a fairly new neighborhood at recognizing itself and trying to build a community and we had the opportunity to paint a mural for them and they just asked us for something fun and playful and that made it feel like a neighborhood. Story number two on the Beat Blast this week. I'm very happy to announce we have a new contest at the Kitsap Sun in search of the best bite that you've ever eaten in Bremerton. What tasty, mouth-watering dish do you go around bragging to anyone and everyone about? Could be a Noah's Ark burger, it could be a donut from McGavin's Bakery, doesn't matter, sky's the limit. We're looking for the best five bites in all of Bremerton in what I'm calling the Bremerton Bite Blast. See what I did there? Whatever it is, doesn't matter. I want you to send your nominations in now. Kitsapsun.com slash Bite Blast is the place to go to make your nomination. In two weeks time, I'm gonna return to you with five of the best bites that Bremerton has ever seen. Story number three on the blast this week. A building at the corner of 11th Street and Cal Avenue aims to have a very unique claim to fame. It's the first place in the state where you can find both a pot shop and a brewery. Dave and Don Dodge used to run the medical marijuana dispensary off of Highway 303 just past Fred Meyer. And when marijuana went legal, they opened a pot store at the corner of 11th Street and Cal Avenue. Well, Dave is also an enthusiastic brewer and plans on opening a brewery at the location later this year. I spoke with the Dodges about what things are brewing at this corner. It's 11,000 square feet. It has four addresses in it. So the brewery is on the lower floor and the cannabis shop is on the top floor. It has its own address, its own entrance. Um, everything is separate. It's the area. We're trying to provide something for this area. We're hoping to provide 30 jobs. Dave's really talented. He can pretty much do anything and he taught himself how to home brew. He just started researching it and bought a system and just started brewing beer and we're gonna perfect some really good recipes. Uh, we want to gear towards the area, specifically the locals. Story number four on the Beat Blast this week. When you're running around in those five miles of trails within the Illahi Preserve, chances are the only thing keeping you covered from our frequent rain is the tree canopy itself. Until now. There's a beautiful new shelter that's been constructed off of the Almira Drive entrance of the park. It was paid for by the East Bremerton Rotary, cost about $35,000, and it was constructed by the Illahee Forest Preserve Group. Well, unbeknownst to most people, but it does rain in, in western Washington, and it just gives uh, people a place to have a picnic, a place to get out of the weather and enjoy Illahee Preserve. I hope that they enjoy themselves so much that they'll come back and bring friends. And finally, story number five on the Bremerton Beat Blast this week. Many of you watched last Thursday as the USS Nimitz aircraft carrier left Bremerton for a six month deployment. It's the first deployment since 2013 and many of its 3,000 sailors are brand new. It's their first deployment as they head out to sea. The Nimitz is one of two homeported aircraft carriers here in Bremerton, along with the USS John C. Stennis, which is currently undergoing maintenance in the Puget Sound Naval Shipyard. I spoke with both the Rear Admiral in charge of the strike group that the Nimitz leads, as well as the Nimitz captain himself, about what these sailors will face on their six-month deployment. The Nimitz Carrier Strike Group is embarking upon a regularly scheduled six-month deployment, and we are going to go forward to the Western Pacific, the Indian Ocean, and the Middle East. Our expectation is that we'll spend some time in the Western Pacific, some time in the Indian Ocean, and then we'll spend a good bit of time in the Middle East as well. We've been training very hard for about the last eight months and we've trained very well. So I'm excited about what we've got ahead of us because we're ready for anything that's going to be handed our way. 
That's going to do it for this edition of the Bremerton Beat Blast. Get those rain jackets back out because it looks like we do indeed have some rain in the forecast for later in the week. Enjoy the rest of your day, Bremerton. We'll see you again next week. Special thanks this week to Smiley D, a.k.a. Daryl Thomas, a local hip-hop artist, for providing this week's music for the Bremerton Beat Blast. To see Thomas live, go to Juneteenth on June 17th at Evergreen Rotary Park. All right, that was goofy. All right, all right. So that there's a dress and the fence in the room We confront in this mess Freedom is a beautiful thing I don't feed them, only few of us say We really need